Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free tool you could use to send and receive files between your computer and your smartphone. So this works over your wireless Wi-Fi connection, so you'll have to have both on the same wireless connection to use it. So we recently did a video on the Windows Phone Link feature, which is built into Windows, which will let you connect your Android or iPhone to your computer and actually view your photos on your phone, uh, send and receive text messages, and even make phone calls. It's a little bit tedious to set up because you have to do it on the computer, install a special app on the smartphone, uh, give it permission and all kinds of stuff, but it works fairly well. But if you're looking for something simple, just to send and receive files, uh, you could use this tool. So it's called Local Send. So they have two versions. They have an installable version, which will you know put a shortcut on your start menu there, like any other program. Then they also have the portable standalone version, where you just download the zip file extract it and run the local send app executable like so and now that we have this running here it will give your computer a name so in this case it called it good apple with this number here so when you connect on your phone this is what you want to look for and you have a couple options here receive and send and then it'll also give your smartphone a different name and you'll also have these numbers here too in case you're connecting multiple devices here all right, so I have some screenshots as well, so you can see how it looks on the phone here. So here's how it looks on the phone. So here's a secret grape, so that's the name of the phone. So when you're sending from your computer to your phone, you want to look for a secret grape when you look for devices uh, with these numbers here. All right, so let's say we were going to send something. So you can see here's secret grape with that number 211 there. Then also you'll notice too, here's what it looks like on the smartphone from the computer. You can see it has a computer icon. And here is the number here. And this is a different number you'll notice if you're paying attention here. This is 225. And this is 141. And that's because I was using a different computer with the app to send files. So it gave it the same name for some reason, but it just gave it a different number. All right, so you can see it has my nearby devices. You can refresh and search the list, make it a favorite, and that way you could give it its own name if you wanted to do that instead of Secret Grape. All right, so you just click on Send a File here. Pick your file. Let's say we want to send a picture. Like so. And on the other end, that's where you would see this here. It wants to send you a file, then you accept it. And then you'll have receiving the files here. And it tells you where it's putting it. And that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to receiving files from the computer. All right, so if you wanted to send something to the computer, you'd go to your phone, just do the same process, click on send. Make sure you have the right device there. Then let's say you wanted to pick something from your photos, you would select it like that. You could also do other files besides photos. And then it'll give you a list here of items you've sent in the past here. You could pick one or more of them and then confirm down there. And then it sends the file over. All right, so I'm going to send something else from the phone here, and we'll see the notification pop up on the screen here. Okay, so you can see Secret Grape, the phone, wants to send a file. Click on Accept. There's the picture there, and it tells you where to put it. It puts it in your download folder by default, and then you could click on this link to open your downloads, or just click on the link there to open the picture or other file. All right, then you have some settings here, you know, for your theme, a color, language, a minimize but not in use, auto start. You have some options for quick save, favorites, require pin if you want extra security. You can change the folder where it downloads it to. You could keep a history of it. You could change your name here for your device if you don't want good Apple. And then some other options there. All right, so as you can see, it's not super complicated. Uh, once you go back and forth between your phone and your computer, 
a couple times you'll get the hang of it. So the main part is just to make sure you uh, get your connection on both ends so they could see each other. And the phone will have the same kind of option here where you could search for nearby devices and pick the ones you want. And then of course, you know, you can make a favorite, change this to Android phone or whatever you want to do. So it makes more sense if you have more than one device, I suppose, or if you just want to change it to something different besides Secret Grape. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Local Send, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.